Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for our second. Doing another draft? Yeah. Oh. I don't have a constructor deck. Someone send us a deck. Did someone send us a deck? Did anyone send us a deck? No. Dang it. Okay. So we're going to be playing Theros Beyond Death Draft. I won't be here for the whole thing. But. You stupid son of a biscuit. The last one was real quick, so. Who knows? What do you got? Woe Strider? Whoa. When it dies and you can escape it. When he enters the battlefield, you get an 0-1. First, a 3-2 for 3. Sack a thing to scry. Exile four cards. It comes into play as a 5-4 with a goat. You and Mikey's play Borderlands 3 co-op. But that's not a game that's really... It doesn't give me content for YouTube. Why not? Well, because, like... Is it... Is that multiplayer? Well, co-op just means co-op, man. We just need two controllers. That's not a big deal. But is it going through, like, the main story? I would assume so. The... We did cover this, but I didn't think co-op would be the same thing. There's a lot of story-driven games that also have multiplayer components. I think it's just Wostrider, right? Sure. I don't know any of the cards, really, so... Okay, well, you gotta read them. They have the words on them. You can tell what they are by just reading them. I, I, I'm No one's hiding the information from you, my dude. I'm gonna go with the rare, because it's a rare. Don't do that, man. That sounds like it sure. looks dangerous. You look dangerous. Dangerous. Watch yourself. Yeah, when you it can enters call the, the story, okay. When it enters the battlefield, create a number of one one human soldier tokens equal to your devotion to white. Mm. You can coop the story? Coop it. Uh create a one one satyr with this creature can't block. Exile two of her cards to replay it. Uh, it deals two damage to any target. So it's two mana. It's an enchantment. It goes on a thing. Hmm. That's a galvanic arc. But, you know. This is a 2 3 for 3. Sack or creature, draw a card. Chain of creature gets plus 3, plus 3, and attacks each combat if able. When it dies, it deals 3 damage to that creature's controller. Hmm. Seems okay. Dev, I'm reluctant to play a game as long as The Witcher. Like, I'm already going to play, like, Cyberpunk when that comes out. So I just, I kind of want smaller games, like, between 10 and 15 hours, I think. I think Bioshock was a great length. I think Fallen Order was a great length. We can just stay black here. I don't really feel like any of the, the, green, the red cards are that worth it. Yeah, I'll just take the black guy. Yeah, like I've heard Witcher is like 70 hours long. It's pretty it's pretty intense. Each one loses life, you gain a life. Sacrifice a creature. One, three, for two. This can be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. Two, two, for two. And that seems fine. Uh, return a cr cr creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield or return an aura card from your graveyard or both. That actually seems pretty good. Yeah. Also, Sea God Scorn. Return up to three target creatures to their owner's hand. Those are always good. So it's either blue, white, or or black, white, or black, blue here. Well, yeah, for a completionist, I'm not. But, but, but I mean, like, who's gonna? I'm not gonna be playing that. Hey, man, which one is it? I need your input here, okay? I don't know what color combo is stronger. Is the problem? All right, but you're not going to find out. I think the blue card is a stronger card overall. Hey, the blue card is the stronger card, nah? Huh? You could probably get through the main story on Witcher 3 on for like 30 hours if you do it on easy. Do you want to play on easy then? I don't, don't mind. want to be little babies. The challenge really doesn't. That's not. Exile a creature or enchantment that returns to the battlefield under its control, so it's just a blink effect. Yeah, but you also don't be like, this is a high level enemy and you're like two attacks and it's dead. And it's just like, oh. When this dies, make a goat. That guy seems fine. Two five. We also have two three flyer for four. Gains vigilance and lifelink for two. Actually, that seems good. Yeah, I like that. Man, I told you to take the blue card. You didn't even take it. Huh. That's because I just drafted blue for the last draft, so I want to draft a different color. Okay. Uh, return a creature card from your river to the hand. Sacrifice to scry two. So all these enchantments are just sacked to scry two, I guess. Look at these guys. They are partying, dude. Maybe feel the pain. Destroy creatures with power four or greater, you gain wow. three life. That seems good. I've seen you both in combat. Easy will be plenty. Shots fired. God damn. Jesus. 
Hey man, I play. Hard. Hey man, we have families. Hey man, I play Fallout 4 and very hard, okay? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, when Vincent put the top three cards your library, this is just three through Death Touch or four. This is plus two, negative one. Meh. Look at that! Look at that war horse. Also known as a horse. <laughs> I think it's worse than the other cards in this pack. That's for sure. Plus two. Is this just plus one, plus two? And that seems terrible. I'll just take this. This venomous hierophant, I guess. Eh, two, two for two. But something else. Yeah, it can't be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. What is this? When it dies, target creature gets negative one, negative one. That's terrible. Eh, I mean, it trades with the two two. Blah. Target sacrifice a creature. Blah. Target opponent sacrifice an enchantment. That's not bad. It's not great, but do we have any blink effects or any any way that this is going to be good? Not really yet. That don't impress me much. Mike was talking about the other day how much he loves Shania Twain. False. Don't you don't have to be embarrassed, dude. It's fine. Like false. Per -er. Per -er. Take the sword, man. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, when Ox of Agonis enters the battlefield, discard your hand and draw three. Okay. Eh. eh. What does this thing do? Four, four for six. With it, when it dies, you return an enchantment card from your to the battlefield. That seems good. Also, dreadful apathy seems good. That was used against us to good effect the last game. Uh, whenever you cast this, all the targets here of prime creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. So. I'm just gonna take this six, this flyer. Kaka. Yeah, yeah. This card was pretty good too. Uh, whenever this creature does damage to a player, create a one one, and it gets two two in first strike. Not bad. Three three. The spell costs X less, where X is your devotion to white. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this card. We can also get it back with the uh, rise to glory. Oh wow! Double Woe Strider deck. Oh baby. We gotta have goats for days, my dude. I mean, it's just a three two for three. Shut up. Yeah, but then it's a 5 4 for 3. Oh, for 5. It's still very good. 4 3 for 4. When he lets Pokemon's Battlefield, we search your library for an aura card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuff your library. Not bad to reprint. Also, Excellent. I'd love to see the choices you two make in Witcher 3. Hmm. What if we just kill everyone? Oh, God. Every character we interact with. 3 must 3 die. for 2, when it enters the battlefield, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. That's actually not bad. Choose a non-land card from that card, from it, or a card from the graveyard. Exile, you lose a life. Sure. Uh, revoke existence is just solid. Three, two for six. When it, when bright blight breath catobleepus enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets negative, negative. Where X is your devotion. So, neg two, neg two at the very least because this has two. Good jinkum, jinkum, jinkums. What? Are you just talking about catobleepus? I was making fun of myself because I remember I said kajikum jikum jikums or whatever. <laughs> oh man, dude, your, your your pronunciation last night was Dawn Evangel. When a creature dies, if an aura you control was attached to it, return that creature card with converted mana cost. Return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your your hand. Interesting. Funky Cato Bleepus. What are you doing, man? Give me my juice level back. Give me my juice level back? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? My phone. Oh. <laughs> I think it's probably done. You think? It was probably done an hour ago. Look, man, your phone is so small, dude. Put your phone on top of my phone. I think we've done this before, but yeah. Look at that thing. Wow. What a little... And your bezel, your, your, your forehead and your chin are so big. <laughs> That's rude, man. Why you gotta say that about me? <laughs> Look at your fat forehead and your fat chin. I think it's just your rogue existence. Oh, here it is. This is man, dude. Affinity. I was literally thinking about that today. How I'm like, I never know when you're in the chat. The only way I know when you're in the chat is literally when you just like clip something when needed. 
the next, that's that's a good idea, idea, actually. Now, if he doesn't kill our Gijigigigi. <laughs> what are you even saying? Create two one ones, and you gain two. That's actually pretty decent. I need to buy a back scratcher. <laughs> Just carry it around wherever I go. Just like yeah. in the middle of conver in the middle of dinner, like if someone's talking to me, I'm like, uh huh, and I'm just like. You can get a portable one that's like the like a like those those batons like that I can you whip like, it out. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can just go, whoosh, and then you can just scratch, and then you can just put it away. What problem is, man? Um. A lot of four drops in our deck. You're probably not making the cut. Oh, two four for three. I like that. That's what Father likes. Cato bleep is is my be. Oh wow, this card's good. Six mana for a three five flying life. Like whenever you draw a card, it gets plus one plus zero. Whenever it attacks, draw a card. Discard a card, it gains hexproof and tap it. That card's b -b -b bonkers, my dudes. Too bad it's blue white. It is too bad. We can just probably splash it. When this enters battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gets indestructible. When this dies, exile a card from a graveyard. Five and four seems good. I think it's Hero of the Pride. I don't think we need bigger creatures anymore. Like, we need two drops. It's either this or this, and I think two-two that makes your other creatures bigger is pretty good. Hateful Eidolon. We need to watch Hateful Eight, man. It's like the only Tarantino film I haven't seen. What about Irishman? That's a Martin Scorsese film. I know, but I'm just saying. Well, we need to watch that too. We gotta set aside time for the bot to watch these four hour movies. Whenever an enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each aura you control that was attached to it. Maybe after the move? No, it's gotta be before then. Target creature gets plus two plus two. If that's if it's an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and destructible. That seems good for a for a one mana spell. Jeez. Yeah, that's not bad. Also to trigger your bro. Your pride bro. The hateful eidolon's been good. I'll just take the hateful eidolon then. Riders on the storm. I don't have a ton of enchantments though, unfortunately, right? Enchanted whenever an enchanted creature dies. That's interesting. Wow, I've heard nothing but good things about the Irishman. That's crazy. When this, yeah, you I think put, that's the only negative review I've ever heard. Yeah, I've heard nothing bad about it. Uh, you may put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. If you do, gain life goes per mana cost. Mana cost assist. Uh, whenever an enchantment is a tap creature, that seems real good. How are we looking on fives? Two fives? All right. Whenever you cast a spell that targets this, creatures you control get plus one, plus oh. Uh, there's another Karametra's Blessing. Another Blight Breath Catoblepus. Well, the good things were wrong. What does that mean? Wow. <laughs> Most of it being that it was hard to follow on too long. Hmm. It wasn't. Well, it's not technically four hours. It's like three hours and some change. Uh, Excel Creature Enchantment Blinks. That could be. I mean, we are, I think we already have one, but. Oh, Aspect of Lamprey is interesting. Oh, but the art is disgusting. You don't like that? Oh. Why? Why not, Michael? Uh, return a creature card from your hand. You guys know you don't have to watch it all at once? No, man, with the film, you gotta watch it all at once, like, to really take it in. I don't know if that's true. Is it really 347? Jeez. Yeah, it's long, dude. I told you. I thought we looked at that. I thought I looked at you and I was disgusted. Well, let me know when you're sure about it. Play the horn. What does that mean? Just play the horn, okay? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Players on the horn. How many enchantments you got? I don't think many. I don't think any, actually. 
Well, you also got enchantment creatures. You got to remember that. That doesn't count, though, right? Whenever an enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each aura you control that was attached to oh, it. Okay. They don't care about enchant. Like it's literally just we have one aura. Then you can probably cut it. Yeah, we just have one. It's not even good here. So now we need one cut. You're good. You're good. You're good. To revoke existence. I mean, that seems fine, right? Riders on the Bjorn. Into the south of Thorn. Into the south of Thorn. Riders on the Bjorn. I'm going to take this venomous Hierophant out. Alright, let's do it. I agree with that. It is a little rough to set aside almost four hours to watch a movie. Oh, for sure. Like, if we started watching it now, we wouldn't be done until like 11.30 at night. Which is pretty ridiculous. Well, I guess 11. More like 11. If you have to actually watch the whole thing in one sitting, maybe le many less people would watch The Irishman. Do yourself a favor and watch it in sessions. Yeah, but like, where do I know where to end, you know? You just... doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't. Well, you're gonna forget what happened. I might. Would you? I mean, I feel like that's more on your memory than, than the movie, so. Moron is right. <laughs> got him. Did you? Well, I got me, but yes. You did. You did get yourself. You got, it was a real good self got him there. This guy's also not great. Am I underestimating the auras? Yeah, miniseries probably would have been better than four hours. Like, just split it up into two parts or whatever. But I feel like Martin Scorsese is so opposed to any sort of change in cinema, right? Like, he's such a hard... He's such a stickler for stuff like that. Yeah. Like, Martin Scorsese is like, well, you know, if it's not a traditional film, then it's like, it's just not, it's not odd, and it's just, blah, 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 movies, blah, blah. Well, it's, it's not a traditional film anyway, because it didn't come out in a traditional film medium. Like, it came out on Netflix only, so it's already kind of different, right? I don't think that changes anything, though. That's just, a, that's just, that's just distribution. Well... Another one of those games where I can only get one color. It happens. Oh, but with you it happens often, so. Sure does happen, doesn't it? I mean, I guess they're mana screwed too, so it's hard to... I guess it's hard to really complain. Nah. Nah. Happen? Anything cool? No. That's sad. Oh man, jokes on you. This creature is not even great in our deck. Oh, cool. Just keep on. Keep on keeping on. I think Scorsese loves films, experimental films too. He just hates the infrastructure that surrounds him and he's so established that he doesn't want to have to think about that. Oh, that's a good one. Yep, that's a, yep, that's about right. Funky cat oblique this. Uh, the Godfather and the Godfather 2 were not Martin Scorsese. They were uh, Francis Ford Coppola. So. I like the same guy. It's fine. Mm, they're not. 
He's like, hey, Martin Scorsese, that's the guy that makes all of the Italian Mafia movies, right? <laughs> to be fair, he's made a lot of them. Oh, I don't know why we attacked with this, but I think it's because we're just so... Uh, Dead. Yeah, we're just so not thrilled about this game that it's like, whatever. I don't, yeah, like, I don't think having that guy back is really going to change this game. Are not all mob movies made by the same person? It's pretty close. Yep. Well. Jesus God. This format has not been kind to us so far. We are 03 currently, so that's cool. So I mean, let's be clear. The Irishman is better than Joker, but that's saying very little. I haven't seen Irishman. Joker was, I think, is overhyped. I think Joker is way overhyped. A lot of people really like Joker, though, so you, your opinion might not last in this chat. We'll see, I guess. It was me. I touched the spaghetti. I'm inclined to believe them. Because their name is Spaghetti Toucher. Yeah, it's the, it's on brand, so. Somebody touch my spaghetto. Alright, well we got Wo Strider. Oh Wo Strider, keep on rolling. Michael B's living in a garbage can right now. Right now? Garbage can right now. Wow, this again, huh? I'm your garbage man, your garbage man. Bam, bam, bam. Your garbage man, your garbage man. Bam, bam, bam. Mm. When you get stuck on one color, the next game you get stuck on the other. Farmer does not have a lot of removal. I I am also getting that feeling, yeah. Also, I'm really getting tired of like losing to commanding presence every single match. So Okay. Well All I have is spaghetti touching thoughts. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. For all your spaghetti touching, you have nothing to threaten me with. Uh, as long as you're less than five, what's it at now? It doesn't say. One, two, okay, well that's probably gonna do it. Yep. Hey man, have you seen that movie, The Joker? What? It's not an appetizer, Mom. What is that from? <laughs> well, I know the the it's not a phase, Mom, is the meme we did, but I don't know how appetizer plays into that. Guess we'll take nine. Oh, good lifelink. That's I'm sure that's not gonna. Yep. Why are they asking me things? Like, I have nothing I can. Oh, I can sack creatures to scry? Sure. You might as well sack the goat. I don't even care, man. Dang. And we're dead. Alright. So, 0 3. I really need to get more sleep. I've been sleeping terribly recently because of house hunting and stress. And it has been miserable. It's been... How much sleep did you get last night? Six hours. It's not terrible, but not great either. Right, but like the night before I got three hours and then a two hour nap. So it's like in the past two nights I've gotten like 11 hours of sleep. Yeah, that's pretty bad. In total. No, I don't want to suggest a pick. I just want to play my matches. 
so we can go we can go six zero <laughs> and still win. I'm not feeling it, but we'll see. It's been one week since you're looking at me, my me. Matthew, or someone else, Katie suggested a weighted blanket. She's like, you need a weighted blanket. I've heard that helps, yeah. I never tried it myself, but I also don't have any problem getting and staying asleep. No, you do not. Jesus, if you, does a weighted blanket help wake you up from your coma? Because then Michael can get one. <laughs> I got to get that extra light blanket. I got the blanket that tickles you or something to wake you up. Someone just commented on a YouTube video said, I have barbarian friends who wing cooking their pizzas every time. One of them literally walks past the timer on the way out of the kitchen. I just don't know. Like, that's crazy. Who does that? Who's like, eh, we got the pizza in the oven. I'll just figure it out. Well, the idea when the one time I burned mine was like, I'll just remember I needed six minutes or like whatever minutes it was on like my phone. I'm like, okay, so it's X time. I stop it at X time. But then I just forgot about Lord. my phone. It's another instance of you making your life actively worse because of laziness. <laughs> Well, at the time, I don't think we had the Google thing. So couldn't you just press the button on the fucking stove? Yeah, probably, man. Hold on, I, I don't know. Timer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. You know, maybe. Yeah. Just maybe. Yeah, I know. Every pizza is different, so, right, but they tell you how long to cook it for, so you just look at the timer, you just put it on. Oh, it says 15 to 20 minutes. You also get to learn how, like, okay, my oven seems to cook pizzas at the bare, like, if they recommend 15 to 20 minutes, you can learn what your oven is on, like, the side of the higher, the higher end or the lower end, and you're like, if it's the lower end, okay, cool. Then I will take it out at 15 minutes. Have you tried counting rats till you fall asleep? I mean, I've never had them be wrong, Josh. Like, I, every pizza I've made in the oven is completely fine. I'm never like, dang it, wrong again. Melatonin also helps in reading a book for 30 minutes to avoid screens. Also, like, I'm sure your phone has it, but if you do that thing where it, like, you know, cuts the blue light. Yeah, I have that, that on every device I have. My iPad, yeah. my computer, and my phone. Yeah, that really helps. That is never, I feel like that's never made a difference for me. Maybe I have bad luck with ovens. Maybe, but like, I mean, my pizza luck is just fine. Like, I've never been like, man, messed it up again. Like, every pizza I cook is just fine. I've messed up one pizza. That's so... You, all, you learn one mistake. I still ate the pizza even though it was gross. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it was real... It was extra crispy, let's just say. I bet it was. Uh, what are we doing next turn? Probably dying. Dying because I'm trying. Dibbly dibbly do. Dibbly dibbly do? Yeah, Mitch. What you know about my dibbly dibbly do? Buddy, sh just shut up. <laughs> so you're saying you don't know about my dibbly dibbly do? Why not chump and sack? Just because I'd rather trade with that guy. I think that guy, this guy's been problematic every single time I've. Had it played against me. You gotta get going soon. It's like 7.30. It doesn't take an hour to get there. Alright, does it start at 8.30? No, it starts at 8. Oh. Yeah, we're starting pretty early this time. Well, maybe you'll be home in time for dinner, Michael. <laughs> what does that mean? Can, if you don't drink too many ciders, you might not ruin your appetite. I'm gonna drink all the ciders I want, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He can't save you. Yeah, I'm gonna get out. Good, get out. <sighs> Have fun. Goodbye, all chatterinos. Go on and play some poker. I hope you lose. Wow. Got him. I hope he wins. Well, no, you don't. And lose. <laughs> <laughs> you know I do. Yeah, I know. That would just be extra money for a moving and stuff. Yeah, you're right. Also, we should get our application fees back from the other place, so. Thank goodness.
Shut up and take my money. What happened? I sent you a standard deck, but I don't play magic. I hope you like it. <laughs> Sammy, you're awesome, dude. Did you email it to me? That's usually your... Oh, you did. Standard deck I just made. Oh, Grey Merchant? Well, I'm glad this guy is a an uncommon now. My turn. Hmm. Let me cast a spell that targets this guy. Because you can target plus one, plus o oh. So we attack, they block anywhere, like say here. We got two cards in the graveyard. This guy's five, right? Four? Okay, that's not bad. Fix this curtain. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Oh, old cattle bleepers, huh? Well, that's something. Uh, get in there with these guys. I'll trade for a cattle bleepers if you'd like. Filling our graveyard is just good. That's just good value. better. What did I miss? They played this guy and got back Mogus's favor. Morogus's favor. I feel like we just play Woestrider here. It's gotta be better than this guy, right? Turn an enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Do we have any? We have none so far. Oh, this guy's also in the graveyard, so we can't actually cast that, so it's gotta be this guy. Um Well, no attacks it is. Oh, well, I didn't even see they played Heliod. Joke's on me, I guess. Oh, it has first strike. Super cool. Well, it doesn't have trample, I guess. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, so I think we're just exiling. Oh, we can actually exile the Heliod. That seems great. I mean, yeah, that seems better than the alternative. And then we also get to play Scavenging Carpet, which is nice. Uh, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. Do any of them have escape? Are any of them enchantments? Oh, I thought this milled, actually. My, my bad. I guess we could have attacked with one more, put him to six. 
Here's an interesting guess for mid range deck I just saw. Well, now I have it open. Mm. What does this guy do? Can't block. Exile three cards from your sure. Uh, whenever the challenge is about filled favor, sure. Okay. Uh, I assumed this would be clearly draft. This guy can't block, so they just block here. They take one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could have played this guy and tapped this down and just won the game, right? Remember when the chairman was battlefield? Yeah, we could have done that. Oh, I guess they're gonna just die anyway. Okay. Do we have all the revokes that we have? Yeah, alright, cool. Man, revoke almost seems too good. Is cube over? I don't think it's over. I think it's over tomorrow at like noon, but I mean, we're in the early access streamer event for Theros Beyond Death, so we're just going to play that. Well, if we can draw a white source here, that would be great. But you know how it you know how it do. Come on. <laughs> and it's just a 3-4 lifelink flying. Creatures you control have lifelink. Whenever enchantment enters the battlefield, create a 2-2. Two -two. Yep, that's fucking bonkers. Wow, that's unbeatable. And, uh... Wow. That's... Yeah, that's a constructed caliber card right there, my dudes. Yep, and of course we literally have five white cards and not a single planes. Uh, is this a shuffler issue that's a known thing? Because this does not seem okay. Like, this is like the third time this has happened in, in two drafts, so. I don't actually think we have a card in our deck that kills this. I think the, I think the removal in this set might be terrible. I think it's a not take seven card hand issue and you get a lot of better results when you mulligan. That's weird. That seems really strange and it, it seems like you shouldn't have to mulligan. Like, decent hands just because of like... Oh god, I hope that... Okay, I was like, please... Yeah, do you guys remember do you guys remember the endless like simic uh like evolution sounds? It was like Alright, we're gonna try some socks on. Now it's a sock trying on stream.
Did you ever notice how when you buy socks, it'll say three pairs, but you get six of them? That's crazy. What a racket, dude. It always, I always feel like I'm robbing the, the sock industry. I'm like, you suckers. You should hold a fundraiser benefiting Rabies Cure. Get people to donate and stuff. Be at the end for this. It's like, I, and actually donate the money to Rabies Research. That'd be a fundraising day. Yeah, but then it could be, then we can donate it to Meredith. Because, because she had Rabies. Just wear the same pair, pa pair all week? Oh, God. Just, just so you guys know, I don't advocate what the walk is saying. You control a god, a demigod, or a legendary. There's like demigods in this set? That's pretty cool. I think we're actually way ahead this game, especially with a revoke in hand. But, you know. You can stay home, little goatee boy. Sammy, I actually haven't checked it out yet because I just in the middle of the draft right now. I cut the Irishman talk short because I had to get off my train. Essentially, the movie presents us almost nothing plot and theme-wise we haven't seen from Square. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I actually kind of assumed that much. Uh, on top of that, it presents nothing new in style for the director. Last but not least, it presents us with boring white male leads playing gangster tropes we have seen at night. Right, but I'm not going to go into a Scorsese film expecting different. Uh, sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised when I see something like The uh, The Departed. But, like, when I go into a Scorsese film, and I often know what, what I'm getting. You know what I mean? And maybe that's not okay, but, you know. And the last 20 minutes gives us a really interesting idea and finally insights into the main character, but ends well before I can make up for the previous three hours and ten minutes. Uh, destroy a creature, huh? Okay. I don't sum up Scorsese as just a gangster director, but, like, let's be honest. Like, he made Casino. He made Goodfellas. He made, uh, The Irishman. Like, I mean, I would definitely not pen him as just, um, a, a, like, a mob movie director. But, like, when I see something from him, I am not surprised when it's a mob movie. I feel like this set would really benefit from Surveil over Scry, because then you, like, all the escape cards get turned on. Well, that's sad. Does it matter? I don't think so. It's fine. Yeah, okay. I mean, I probably would have taken out this guy right now. I guess it doesn't. Yeah, indestructible. Like, I would have just have taken out this for sure. Where's Michael? Mutual's playing poker. He's He sent, he went to play poker. Uh, Katie, can you become a guest on the stream? That would be wonderful. 
I'm very okay with it. Oh, they just the old the old slam this guy concede. A classic. Guys, we wanna we wanna match with our deck. I'm actually, I'm doing a sock unboxing, an unsoxing, if you will. I got these new Nike socks. I'm usually, I'm usually a, a big fan of, um, I'm a big fan of no-show socks, but I needed some ankle socks because my, when I wear them with Jordan 1s, they just keep falling down. So I'm just like, nah, we ain't having it. Sidekick, main kick is more like it. Yeah, she definitely my main kick. It's true. That main kick, though. Okay, well, that's a good amount of lands. Where are you moving to? We're not sure yet. Could be local. Could be international. No, it's not international at all. It's not. Oh, we're revoke existence, eh? He's moving to the internet. It's true. Main kick. I like the sound of that. That's. It's also a magic ability. Did you guys? Did you guys use main kick? I have to find a scissor now because I don't trust my nail. I just use nail clippers sometimes for cutting little tags. A 4-2. Uh, yeah, sure. This guy actually doesn't do anything in our deck, so... I'm more than happy to trade. Oh my god, how many friggin' things are in these socks? Oh, Jesus. This is like becoming a real chore, guys. There's like five of those little tags in here. Oh, they did what? Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. That was... That's good. It's good for you. Okay, is this one done? No, not yet. All right, we're getting there. I also don't want to like rip the socks by pulling these things out. Jesus. How did you even get like this? Look at this. Can you guys see this? It's a little, wow, that's that green screen's really Really messing. Look at that. Look at where this tag is. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. What does this? What does this do? A chain creature is plus one plus one life link. Whenever this creature does, <laughs> holy Jesus! Wow, that card's nuts. I have some red houses in Texas. You can stay in, huh? Well, I guess I'll just take seven here. Oh, we're playing against Nadine. Oh man, what's up? Nadine doesn't even know it's me. That's so sad. Hold on, I gotta screen cap this. Do, 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 do. Um, well, can I revoke anything that's worthwhile? Probably this, but then, like, I'm pretty sure I still 
I still buy. I'm human token eighty eight. Um Jesus. Alright, well, let's block here again. So we take one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, Bringer, Strider. Little Whoa, Bringer, Strider, so you can counter this. And yes, she is. Well, I feel like we're dead. This, this is unreal. This thing is like stuck in the sock. I'm like, I'm really afraid to rip the material. Oh my god, almost got it. And I'm pretty sure we're just gonna submit like this. I don't think our deck is really sideboard ready. This is also, a flicker, flicker of Fate's also interesting because you can target their guys that have enchantments on them to get rid of the enchantments. <sighs> this stupid sock, dude. Chaos there, have a good night, buddy. Um, yeah, that sound seems good. It's unbelievable. Okay, that one's good. This is Frank's sock stream. Beginning of combat on your turn, target enchanted creature or enchantment creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample.
Thank you. Dillon Mace, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, I have nothing to do here. Oh, Dylan Mace, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Pass. This gives first strike. It's oh, pretty strong. Um, Scripture's just come down to make a 1 1. So we can actually just put it on here. Let's target a spell that targets it. So we can play this. This is also pretty decent. Could also just play Rumbling Sentry. I assume she has Counter Spell. I think actually getting rid of this is worse, is better than, than getting rid of this. I think this is a better card. How, how is Theros treating us so far? Not great. Not to say it's a bad set, but it's not uh, treating us very well, so. I'm going to pass here. I don't think either one of these are worth trading with this guy. Uh, search library for a little basic land, put it on the battlefield. Okay. Yep. Um, I've definitely lost to some bombs, for sure. Oh god, I finally got this little stupid thing out. Jesus. What a nightmare. What a nightmare tag. Guys, my sock adventure is over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Siona, Captain of the Pileus. Uh, three mana, two, two. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top seven cards you have in your villain. Aura from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest on the bottom. That's interesting. Whenever an aura you can control becomes attached to a creature you control, create a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whipped creature gets plus one, plus one, trample, and life link. Permits your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible. That's pretty good. Destroy creature with power four or greater. Gain three life. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If we put it on this guy, it's a five, four. Cobra Laserface, thank you so much for the resub. The Ziggs, I don't know if I noticed, but thank you so much for the resub, really. Oh, I think I did, because I remember you saying Big Badge Time. All right, end that turn. Maybe I'm giving her too much time. What up, Gimpy?
So every opponent just gets to have gods, huh? Uh, real the top career library if it's a creature put it in your hand, otherwise you may put it in your graveyard. Okay, that's fine. But also, one, two, three, four, five. I see. I see. Destroy a creature, not exile? Yep, that's not very good. Revoke existence. Bronze sword. I mean, if we attack with this now, it doesn't do anything. I guess we, yep, we can't actually hit any of their creatures. So four, it's eight total, huh? gonna pass here and keep oh god cancel attacks no attacks end the turn Josh have a good night buddy thank you so much for the support man I really appreciate you Josh if you have any decks well yeah if you have any decks send them over to me oh Jesus god come on Nadine Come on, Nadine. Oh, I swear. That enchantment is really good. They attack for six. Oh, God, it's much worse than that. Seven. With lifelink and trample and indestructible. Yep, there's a lot of things happening right now. Yep, might as well put it on Nylia. Oh boy. Oh, this doesn't get flying. I thought it get flying for some reason. Uh, nope, don't want that. Oh, trample. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that's not what we wanted. Trample's a hell of a thing, guys. And then we died all of a sudden. Two revoke existences. I mean, maybe we should be more aggressive about looking for them. Four, four, when it, yeah, sure. When it escapes, it gets three counters. Sure. Well, that's rough. God, every enchantment is like... Is this what you call... Is this synergy? Come on, Nadine. Just stop it. This is ridiculous. Yeah, not ideal. Not sure how we're getting out of this one, my dudes. Yeah, why does everyone have gods is right. Cool. Yeah, I think we're pretty much... Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. Land is cool. Uh... 
All right. This is one two. So we've, we're we're currently one four in drafts, my dudes. I'm not sure what there is to be learned here, but thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on patreoncom frank 4 twitchtv frank 4 CoolStuffInc.com and ManaTraders.com. All of those things have content from me, except for ManaTraders, I guess, because you know that's just where you can get 20% off for the first three months of any subscription service. If you use the link and promo code down below. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.